I'm currently in networking class, and I know that you guys oh. have touched on this before, but I was wondering what are some of the larger costs of video streaming, and why are those costs so high? Oh. Bandwidth. Bandwidth is rough. Yeah, man. but why? That That's what they want to know. Uh, Who do you pay for bandwidth? Because they charge a lot. Uh, I don't know. I, yeah. You have to pay for transit across networks that other entities own is a big part of it yeah and then like having good routes so routes is like uh you you might have a a server who's like negotiated route to your house is fantastic so if you watch a video it's great but the person down the street you think it wouldn't be that different but they might be on a different isp and the negotiated routes in your country might be poor for that so like companies like youtube have fantastic distribution everywhere with really, really great routes to basically everyone, but that's not that simple, right? So like we do a bunch of our video distribution through Cloudflare. One of the reasons why we do that is because Cloudflare has very, very good global coverage all over the place. Right. We have uh, this float VPN thing we've talked about before because we always like having fallbacks. That's part of Floatplane's whole thing. So we can fall back to our own setup whenever we want. But to be able to get the amount of coverage to the amount of routes that we would have with Cloudflare, the scale that we would have to go to would be kind of crazy. It wouldn't make sense. By so, the way, is this broken? Kyle R's thing here is stuck here. He's holding it there because that's the question we're, we're currently a, discussing. Oh, we're doing that's a, a cool feature. And, and it also feature. pauses the queue so that uh, yes. other merch messages aren't getting lost. That's I, why you have the giant circle. In I the think that was entirely screen. Conrad's huh. idea. It's, it's really useful. Yeah, cool. It's pretty sweet. Okay. Um, but yeah, so like there, there's all these routes problems, but you would think, you would think, and this is where it gets expensive and also complicated, we're with Cloudflare. They're one of the biggest internet companies there is. Yeah, ever. We should have perfect coverage like everywhere. Right, yeah, why, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, why, why don't we? Nope. Oh, Because okay. even Cloudflare doesn't have, like, perfect coverage to everywhere. Right. There's certain places in Australia, surprise, surprise, that have issues. We've, we've notoriously had some issues in Germany. Certain yeah. routing problems in Germany. We just have lots of problems with it, even when we're trying to feed through one of the biggest multi-billion dollar, like, data distribution companies in the world yeah. we still have problems there um and we can we can work on it ourselves we can we can set up new partnerships we can try to expand our partnership map do a multi cdn thing so that if if quality to somewhere is low we switch over to some other cdn all this type of yeah. stuff there's Ramsey, ways to mitigate it, uh, asks i assumed you'd use akamai for streaming and i believe we can we can yeah but we have there's our, a lot of cost agreements and other stuff going we have on. float plane cdn but then we also have fallbacks to cheap CDNs and also expensive CDNs, and we can actually dynamically choose which one to use to deliver the content depending on what's most favorable for the particular user. We don't always get it 100% right, nope. but the team tries really hard. Akamai yeah. is extremely expensive. It's really, really good, very high quality, but very expensive. Yeah. So we want to avoid that whenever we can, but we'll do it if we have to. Yeah. 